If you have been around long enough, you know that Blender wasn't that great, especially in the early days. Just a few years ago, it was actually pretty bad, and one of the areas that was apparent was class simulation. You know me, I always say it as it is, it was unusable, and the simulations were slow, dumb, and clunky. You couldn't control the cloth in real time, and you had to bake for hours. And don't get me started when it comes to clipping, needless to say, it was a mess. However, recently Blender has made strides in rectifying all the shortcomings, and it is shaping up to be a menace in the industry, like it is always destined to be, especially from the 2.8 onward. The cloth tool and cloth simulation in particular saw a ton of love by introducing a ton of tools and improvements as well as a series of long-needed optimizations. But even with that, Blender still has a long way to go to catch up with the industry standard software. And as I was skimming through the web, I have seen a ton of people asking the same questions. Is Blender cloth simulation good enough? And while I agree that Blender improved a lot, it is a far cry from being on par with industry-leading software such as Marvelous Designer or even Houdini. The problem with Blender soft body simulation is not the cloth simulation itself. While I'm sure that this is part of the problem, I think the root of the issue is intrinsic to the simulation solver that Blender uses. Factor this with the fact that it needs to integrate with its collision system and rigid body physics and you get a workflow that is flawed. The simulations are great, as long as you are doing something simple, but as soon as you move into character interaction, garments and animations, it quickly falls apart. Now, I'm not sure exactly why this is the case. However, I'm gonna assume here that it has something to do with the optimization. You know, as software developers keep updating their software, they build upon old things, and sometimes it is better just to start over. And I know what most of you are thinking, add-ons. Of course, we haven't talked about add-ons yet, because everything we said about Blender so far, you can throw out of the window when we start talking about add-ons because we have amazing stuff in this field already. And I think it's not that controversial to say that Blender cannot be where it is right now without third-party add-ons. I know I do, because I actually used to be a 3ds Max user until I saw some of the hard surface modeling add-ons that Blender has back in the day, and they are still going strong with a huge community behind them. What I'm trying to say is Blender and its community, specifically add-on developers, share a symbiotic relationship, which is not surprising, as Blender is actually made by the community for the community, Inter Simply Cloth Pro. This add-on is a game changer when it comes to cloth simulation and the creation of cloth in Blender. It tries to address most of the limitations we talked about and tries to build upon existing features and it gives you a way to streamline the process of cloth creation so much so i think it is safe to say that simply cloth pro 3 is the best tool to create cloth in blender right now and i'm not even exaggerating it offers a very easy to understand interface with a ton of presets and pre-made clothing articles and these can be customized to your liking and it simplifies almost all the Blender cloth settings in a basic few summarized parameters. We've all been there. You try to create something and you find yourself scratching your head about what any of these values mean or even do. Like take a look at this. You have multiple tabs. Each has under it multiple sliders with parameters labeled like max pressure, bending, fluid density, and distance, in addition to other things. This is all kind of confusing, especially if you factor in the fact that some of these parameters affect each other, if that makes sense. In Simply Cloth, all these settings are combined into a dozen properties that you can simply increase or decrease, removing all the guesswork. The add-on has a long list of features that are beyond the scope of this video, otherwise we will be here for the next hour. But some of its most notable are the ability to create multiple pin layers, and animate them using sliders. In addition to the ability to draw cloth sets, which enable you to draw exactly the clothing articles you want and extract them as cloth objects and easily adjust it with the cloth enhancement by adding stitches, adding details, wrinkles, and so on. Furthermore, you can attach any object to the cloth, like a pocket, which will be deformed to fit the shape of the garment perfectly. Another great feature is the Optim Cloth 
which is a duplicate proxy object of the cloth that can act as a placeholder for the simulation for maximum performance, and apply the details to the high resolution object at the end. We also have geometry based cloth enhancement. This is great for adding extra small details like terrain, surface details, seams, and so on. These details can be added during the simulation or afterward, and the details can be turned on and off so they are not baked into the original geometry. Last but not least are the sculpt brush presets. With this, you can get access to a ton of high quality sculpt cloth brushes for different use cases like drag, twist, stretch, pinch, and so much more. The Anno right now has more than 11,000 sales on Blender Market alone and offers multiple licenses. And with Simply Cloth Pro version 3, the last update, things are getting even better. So if you are interested in Simply Cloth, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.